Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to Pilates in a Flash. This is your 30 minute intense Pilates workout video. Today for props, we're gonna need a pillow and we're gonna need two hand weights. So I've opted for coconut milk this week. Uh, if you don't have hand weights, you can always use cans. So you can go and grab some cans from the pantry. Um, if you have hand weights, you're gonna use the one pound, two pound or three pound weights. Nothing heavier than three pounds. Today's class is going to be challenging, so please take it at your own pace. If you need to modify or if you need to press pause and catch your breath, absolutely do so. Always make sure that your space is safe as well, so clear out anything that's around you. We are going to start today on our hands and knees. So I'm just going to move my weights out of the way plus my pillow out of the way. So starting my hands and knees. Take a nice big deep breath in, shoulders away from the ears. I'm gonna send my hips back in space, keeping my tailbone out back behind me and a little curve in the low back. And then I'm just gonna rock my shoulders over my fingers a little bit to come forward. Sending my hips back in space a little bit and then forward. So I'm not tucking my tailbone under. I am keeping that little curve in my low back. I'm starting to think about pulling my abdominals up towards my spine a little as well as starting to move my breastbone up just a little bit, just so that my breastbone isn't hanging down towards the mat. We're just gonna do this two more times. Send the tailbone back behind you. Keep that little curve in the low back so we don't tuck the tailbone under. One more, breathe in. And out. I'm gonna lay my hands underneath my shoulders, my knees underneath my hips. I'm gonna flatten out my feet and I'm gonna round my spine, tucking my tailbone under pulling my spine and my ribs up towards the ceiling and then letting it go. Eyes come forward, there's that little curve in the low back again. So watch that you don't overextend, bring the belly button down towards the mat. I want just a small curve. From here, I'm just gonna float the breastbone forward just a little bit and then do that cat position again. Drop the head down, bring the spine up and the ribs between the shoulder blades, breathe in. And then eyes come up, tailbone shoots back behind me, crown of the head kind of sends forward so that I'm not crushing the back of my neck to look up. The back of my neck is long. One more time, breathe in, drop the head, tuck the tailbone, pull the belly button up towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears, eyes look up, tailbone shoots back behind me, breastbone floats forward. Good, from here, I'm gonna extend my left leg back in space, and I'm just gonna lift and lower my left leg. So I'm pushing into my left hand, my right knee, and I'm looking just to lift and lower my left leg just a little. So I'm only lifting it maybe four or five inches off the ground. And I'm thinking about starting to engage my hamstring and my glute while I do this. I'm also gonna lift my breastbone away from the mat just a little bit. We're gonna do five more. Leg is long, knee is fairly straight, just a soft bend in the knee. Two more, pushing into the left hand, right knee, trying to find a cross connection of support. One more, just switching legs. Nice long right leg, flex the foot if you want to, that helps me. I'm gonna push into my right hand, left knee, lift and lower my right leg. And you can look underneath you to make sure that your knee is underneath the hip on the supporting leg, which mine is not, <laughs> so I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so making sure that your hip isn't all the way over. It's stacked over the knee. Lifting and lowering the leg just a little bit, trying to feel for hamstrings. So hamstring, back of thigh, and bum. Okay, glute max to lift and lower the leg bone. We're gonna do two more. Breastbone is up just a little away from the floor between the shoulder blades. One more, good. From here, we're gonna come on down. Laying on our back, I'm gonna flip right over and I'm gonna curl down slowly towards the mat, trying to articulate my spine as I go down. Arms are down by my side, I'm gonna breathe in. I'm just gonna move my pelvis to start. So I'm just gonna rock my pelvis as if it's a, a bowl of soup a couple of times. Feeling for that tailbone going towards the mat a little bit and then that tailbone coming up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna go for three, two, one more, okay? I'm gonna settle my ribs down on the mat. I'm gonna level out my pelvis. I'm gonna bring my thigh bones a little bit closer together here, pushing into my feet. I'm gonna bring my pelvis up towards the ceiling and bridge, neutral bridge, then I'm gonna lower on down. 
I'm gonna bring my pelvis up towards the ceiling by pushing hard into my feet. My feet are an anchor point. So finding that connection into the feet to activate the back of thighs, those hamstrings. And then trying to keep that pelvis fairly level as I lift and lower. Using the tops of my shoulders as an anchor point too, I'm gonna to start to move my arms up and down as I lift my pelvis. So my arms come up towards the ceiling and then down towards the ground. Making sure that I don't shoot my breastbone up towards the ceiling as I lift and lower my arms. I'm gonna go for five, lift and lower four, hard into those feet. So push hard before you lift. Okay, we're gonna do two more. Knees shoot towards the wall in front of you. One more, lift and hold it up. I am gonna leave my arms up in the air. I'm gonna try and feel for that anchor point between the shoulder blades so I'm not pushed up, I'm heavy between the shoulder blades. My pelvis is level and I'm pushing my knees towards the wall in front of me. From here, I'm gonna push into my left foot and my right shoulder and I'm gonna tap my right heel on the mat, okay? I'm gonna tap, 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 lifting quite high with that heel, as high as I can lift, finding some movement through my ankle and my feet Okay, pushing into my left foot, right shoulder, diagonal piece of support for three, two, one. I'm going to switch, push into my right foot, left shoulder, and tap the heel. Pelvis doesn't move, stays really still, so I'm going to squeeze my bum cheeks together, not under, lifting the heel as high as I can lift the heel up and down for five, for four, for three, for two, one more, good. Pausing right here, my arms are gonna come down towards the mat. I'm gonna drop my right hip down towards the mat a little, then pick it back up. I'm gonna drop my left hip down towards the mat a little, then pick it back up. It's a very small hip rotation. My thigh bones and my knees don't move, so there's not a big rock going on through my legs. It's a very small pelvic kind of movement down towards the mat and back up feeling for my bum releasing on one side, okay? The other cheek kind of holding still to hold the height of the pelvis so my pelvis doesn't dip down as I rotate my pelvis a little, okay? It's a very small motion. I'm still feeling for hamstrings so my feet are still pushing into the mat and my knees are still moving forward towards the wall in front of me. We've got four more, okay? We've got three, Bum cheeks towards each other, not under. Two, think low belly connection as well. Start to pull the low belly down. One, pause right there. Lower down, give yourself a tiny bit of a break. Okay, we're gonna come back up into that bridge. One more variation here. So I'm gonna lift my pelvis up and I'm gonna lift my right leg at the same time. I'm gonna push into my left foot, right shoulder, lift my pelvis up and lift my right leg up at the same time and then lower on down at the same time. Switch, push into the right foot, left shoulder, lift the left leg up and the pelvis at the same time, and then lower on down. So we're alternating this little kind of single leg bridge. Okay, we lower on down together, lift together, pushing into that diagonal piece of support, noticing if that tailbone starts to tuck under. I don't want that tailbone to tuck under as you lift. I want you to try to keep your pelvis flat like a plate on the way up, maintaining that neutral bridge. Good. We're going to do three more. So lower down, lift up, pushing in right foot, left shoulder, or whatever side you're on. Two more. One more. Lift and lower. Excellent. You're going to find the pillow. Mine is down by my knees. I'm going to go grab it. You're going to put it between the thighs, okay? So pillow between the thighs to start. <sighs> Arms are out into a T position. Legs are gonna come up into tabletop, okay? All I want you to do to start is just squeeze the pillow ever so slightly. Mine's gonna burst to the ceiling, hang on. There we go. Squeeze the pillow ever so slightly and then release. So you're feeling for your abdominals. You're also thinking I'm in a neutral spine. So my head is down, I have a little space in my, in my neck, my ribs are down. So not all my ribs are down. I need to feel for the low ribs, okay? Moving down towards the mat, which means my uh, abdominals, my obliques are working. My pelvis is nice and level, okay? So my tailbone isn't lifted or tilted towards the ceiling, which mine is right now. So I'm gonna push my tailbone kind of back down towards the mat and try to engage my abdominals, keep those low ribs down as I do that. Arms in T position. We're just squeezing the pillow with our upper inner thighs and 
releasing a little bit. <clears throat> so trying to think upper thigh bones moving towards each other, not just the knees and the feet. Pelvis doesn't shift as you give that pillow a little squeeze. Good. From here, we're going to squeeze the pillow. We're going to rock both legs over to the right, lifting our left bum cheek off the mat, then back to center. Rock both legs over to the left. Okay, back to center. Pull the low belly down, belly button towards the spine. We do this nice and slow and controlled. So we're feeling for all our ribs plus our shoulder blades remaining on the mat. When I go right, I get heavy in my left rib cage and shoulder blades so it doesn't peak off the mat. When I go left, I get heavy in the right side. Still pulling down those low ribs. I'm not rocking along my low back. I'm moving along the back of my pelvis, okay? So watch that you're not rocking along the low back. We've got two more. Legs move one direction, then back to center. Squeeze the pillow one more. Good. I'm going to make this a little bit harder. Arms are going to go overhead. Okay, try to soften the breastbone. We're only going to do four here with arms overhead. It's an even smaller motion because I can't go as far without those ribs starting to peak off the mat. Two more to the right. Lift the left bum cheek, but the ribs stay down. One more. Go left. Right bum cheek kind of lifts up, but the ribs don't follow. Good. Arms down, legs down. I'm going to take the pillow out. Legs are nice and long. Okay, out in front of you. <clears throat> From here, I'm gonna get strong through my legs and I'm gonna level my pelvis. So oftentimes when I'm trying to like straighten out my legs, I start to tuck my tailbone under and I lose a little curve in my low back. I wanna level my pelvis, meaning I need to put my tailbone down as an anchor towards the mat so that the little curve in my low back remains there. Then I need to engage my abdominals to hold the low ribs down Little curve is still there in my low back, even though my ribs are pulling towards the mat. I'm going to get really strong in my left leg and bring my right leg up towards the ceiling and then lower on down. Really strong in my right leg, lift the left leg up towards the ceiling and then lower on down. You're feeling for any movement in your pelvis as you do this. So the leg lifts and lowers and it only lifts as high as that pelvis can stay still. There's no rocking. Okay, there's no flattening out of the low back. Okay, so you're thinking my pelvis is staying nice and stable because I'm pulling my low belly down and my belly button towards the spine. I'm also activating the hamstrings and my quad on the opposite leg to really anchor down, okay? We're gonna do two more. Rib cage stays down, try not to puff the chest. <laughs> One more deep breath in, level the pelvis, good. Okay, bend the knees, hands come behind the head. We're gonna do an ab curl. So eyes on breastbone, ab curl to come up and then uncurl to come down. Shoulders away from the ears. So watch the shoulders are creeping up towards the ears as you do your ab curl. And making sure that when you do your ab curl, you still have a little space in the low back so your pelvis isn't tilting and flattening out that space. Good, we're gonna do this for four. Eyes on breastbone, three. Low belly holds that pelvis nice and still. Two, good, one. We're gonna move both legs up into tabletop here. We're gonna continue to ab curl. So ab curl, come on down. So our pelvis is level, even though our legs come into tabletop, our knees are over our hips. Our knees are not towards our belly button, so making sure that you're not curled forward with that pelvis. Okay, eyes stay on breastbone, anchor through the bottom ribs. So as you come down, your ribs don't flare up towards the ceiling, right? They don't arc. You're gonna go for four, for three, then we're gonna hold in that ab curl, two, one. We're gonna hold an ab curl here, level the pelvis. You're gonna open the right leg a little, then close. Open the right leg a little, then close. Two more times. Right leg moves, left leg doesn't, still an ab curl, push the breastbone behind you. One more, left leg opens and then closes. Level the pelvis, open and close. Keep the ab curl on, eyes stay nice and low, chin stays tucked in to protect the back of the neck and the head does stay heavy in the hands. For two, right leg doesn't move, heavy on the right side of the pelvis, one. Good, uncurl. Legs come down just for a second. We're going to do the opposite. So we're going to take that lovely pillow, put it between the thighs. Legs come into tabletop. You're going to do the ab curl and you're going to hold. So I'm going to level my pelvis.
pelvis here. I'm going to push my breastbone back behind me as I lift up, keeping the lower ribs down on the mat, and I'm going to squeeze the pillow and release. I'm continually pulling my belly button down towards my spine, low belly on to maintain that nice level pelvis, squeeze the pillow and release. Shoulders away from the ears, <laughs> mine were up near my ears. We're going to go for three, we're going to go for two, we're going to go for one, okay, and lower on down. Excellent. You're going to turn over onto your side. We're going to focus on some glutes, okay? Head is going to come down to that bottom arm. Top leg is going to be straight. Making sure the hips are stacked and there's a little space between the oblique and the mat and that you're not in a question mark position, okay? So the, make sure the eyes are forward. I'm just going to lift and lower to start. The bottom leg is, uh, is bent for support. The top hand is just on the hip if you want or down on the thigh. You're feeling for any movement in that pelvis, right? So I don't want to move my pelvis to lift my thigh bone. I want my side bum to do the job and I need to maintain a nice still pelvis so that the side bum and hip works properly to lift the thigh bone away from the midline or laterally, okay? My knees and my toes face forward. My leg right now is a little too far in front of me. So I'm going to move my left leg back just a smidge. There we go. And as soon as I move my left leg back a smidge, my hip doesn't follow. My hip stays stacked. So just because I move my leg back doesn't mean I move my whole body back, right? And I'm going to hold it up here and I'm going to do just a little pulse. So halfway down and up halfway down and up, halfway down and up, halfway down and up for five, for four, three, two, one. Hold. Arm is going to come up towards the ceiling. Okay, so top arm is long towards the ceiling, shoulder away from the ears. You're going to send that leg forward and you're going to bring the arm back and then you're going to point the toe, send the leg back and bring the arm forward. So we're just trying to move in this opposite way, leg to arm, okay? I'm thinking about my hamstring and my glute, pulling my leg back in space, flexing the foot forward, quad hip flexor side bum, and I'm feeling for a nice long leg, my hips don't move. Good. Pause right here. Arm stays up. You're going to circle the leg. Obliques are on, okay? So my oblique that's on the mat is lifted. My hips do not move as I circle two more times. Low belly in, belly button is fine, shoulder away from the ear. One more time. Opposite direction. So I'm going to swoosh down, then I'm going to go back. Pelvis stays nice and still. Bum is working hard. Outer bum, okay? Could be inner thigh a little bit as you move that leg around in a circle. One more, sweep down, back, hamstring, glute to pull the leg back and around. Good, okay, pause right there. We're gonna come on to our hands and knees. Excellent, we're gonna move back into child's pose just for a second, then we're gonna come down on our stomach, but I need you to grab your weights, okay? So have your weights handy beside you. So child's pose just for a second, breathe in and out. Coming down onto our stomach, we're going to grab the weights, arms are by our side, faces on the mat, shoulders are definitely away from the ears. So you think nice long arms and shoulders down. From here, you get anchored in the pubic bone, you squeeze your bum cheeks to pull your tailbone down towards your heels, and you're just going to lift your arms up towards the ceiling and then lower on down. Shoulders away from the ears, arms are close to the torso, lift and lower. So you're feeling for triceps, you're feeling for underarm area helping you lift, you're not squeezing the shoulder blades together, and you're trying to activate the back of shoulder into lats to help you lift your straight strong arms up. Triceps are definitely trying to work to straighten the elbow, okay, and shoulders stay away from the ears the whole time. So for me, I kind of have to reset almost every single rep. Pull my shoulders down, then lift, okay? I'm gonna go for five. Nice, strong, straight arms, four, 
Try to feel for underarm area, so squeeze the arm bone in towards the body. Three. Okay, low belly, try to pull it up a bit. We're going to pulse. We're going to hold it up. We're going to come halfway down and up, halfway down and up, halfway down and up, halfway down and up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Excellent. Push yourself back here. We're going to do the opposite side for our glutes. So long straight leg bent, bottom leg. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So while we're here, we fix everything. So our hips are nice and stacked. The oblique is off the mat. The eyes are looking forward. Shoulders away from the ears. My top leg needs to move back just a smidge because it's a little far forward. And when it's forward, I start to feel like my hip flexor and my quad try to take over. But when I move my leg back, I have to reposition my hips because my top hip wants to move back with my thigh bone. But I can't let my hips migrate backwards with that leg bone. I just have to think about moving my hips to keep them stacked and moving my leg bone back. Good, we're gonna pulse. So come halfway down and up, halfway down and up, halfway down and up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Top arm goes to the ceiling. Low belly in, belly button to spine. Okay, flex the foot, bring the leg forward, point the foot, bring the leg back. Move the arm in the opposite direction. The leg comes forward, so the arm goes back. The arm comes forward, so the leg goes back. We are not moving our body, so our body stays still. Low belly in, obliques on, okay. Our hips do not move as a thigh bone moves. Shoulder stays away from the ears. The bigger the motion, the more you have to control to keep your spine and your torso nice and still. We're gonna do two more, flex the foot. Notice my hand flexes as well. <laughs> and point the toes, there's my hand points as well. <laughs> One more, flex the foot, then point the toes to bring the leg back behind you. We're gonna circle, but I'm gonna keep the arm up. So you're gonna keep the arm up as we circle. Shoulder stays away from the ears. Hips do not move as you make this beautiful circle. You try to go small, okay? You control the thigh bone moving in the hip socket. You don't wibble wobble around. If you are, you can bring your arm down or you can bring your hand down towards the ground. You're gonna do one more. Feeling for hamstring glute as you bring the leg back behind the hip. And then you're gonna switch directions. So if you're going forward now, you start by going backwards up and down and around. The slower, the better. Feeling for any movement in that pelvis at any point of that circle, right? So we don't wanna rock at any point. Bring the leg back, but keep the pelvis still. Low belly in, belly button to spine. Good, one more. Bring the leg back, hamstring glute, up around, side bum, down to the middle, inner thighs. Good, arm goes down. Excellent. Okie dokie. We're gonna come back down on our back. We're gonna put our hands behind our head here. Just don't know where my weights are. Move my weights a little bit out of the way there. Shoulders away from the ears. <clears throat> Legs up into tabletop. And we're gonna do that ab curl and hold. Okay, so we're gonna come up into ab curl, hold. Eyes on breastbone, belly button down, pelvis is nice and level. Chin is tucked in and shoulders away from the ears. I'm going to extend my right leg towards the ceiling and I'm going to open my right leg a little bit and I'm going to close my right leg. So the ab curl is on, pelvis is level, low belly is working to keep that pelvis perfectly still as I move my thigh bone just a little bit, two or three inches to the right, then back to center. Now I'm going to send my leg down towards the ground a little bit and then back up. Straight leg down towards the ground a little and back up. You're going to do two more and you're going to try to go a little bit further, but there's no movement in the pelvis, especially when that thigh bone comes back up. You anchor the tailbone, thigh bone down, back up. Good. Tiny little break. 
Shoulders away from the ears, legs back up into tabletop, ab curl, belly button down, low belly down. Now extend the right, or excuse me, the left leg towards the ceiling. Open the left leg up and close. Okay, pelvis doesn't move. You get heavy on the right side of the pelvis. You keep curling <laughs> from the top, which I lost. I stay on breastbone, breastbone back behind you. Little curve in the low back is still there. You're not smushing out the low back. Now send the leg straight down and then lift it back up. Start small. Tailbone doesn't move. Pelvis doesn't move. Low belly helps bring the leg back up. Two more. Go a little bit lower. Ab curl on one more. Good. Bend the legs. Arms are down by the side. Bring your legs nice and wide and just windshield wiper the thigh bones you can look left and look right move the neck a little bit shoulders away from the ears two one more good okay so we're going to add on to this so uh, what i want you to do is i want you to curl up so hands go up towards the ceiling shoulders away from the ears eyes on breastbone slowly curl so belly button towards the spine if you get stuck you grab the backs of thighs so you're coming all the way up, articulating, okay? To sit up nice and tall. From here, you're gonna come onto your forearms, okay? So onto the forearms. I'm gonna shuffle my bum kind of back so that my elbows are underneath my shoulders and my shoulders are away from my ears. I'm gonna pull my belly towards my spine, but I'm gonna try and not tuck my tailbone under. I'm gonna try to keep heavy in my sits bones so that I have a little curve in my low back, okay? I'm gonna bring one leg up into tabletop and the opposite leg up into tabletop. And I'm gonna extend my legs to the ceiling, but if you're fine with your legs in tabletop here and this is too far for you, then keep your knees bent, okay? From here, I'm just gonna rock both legs over to the right, peeking my left bum cheek off the mat a little. And then I rock both legs over to the left, peeking my right bum cheek off a little, okay? So I need to feel really strong in the opposite side. So when I go right, I need to feel strong in my left forearm. And when I go left, I feel strong in my right forearm. Continually pulling my belly button down towards the spine. Okay, and now I'm gonna do it with my legs extended. So my legs are extended, toes pointed, and my toes, toes and feet stay together. So now I send my legs over to the right. Peeking my left bum cheek off the mat, slow, pause in the center. Now I send my legs over to the left, back to center, okay? Over to the right, and then over to the left. Good, okay? From here, bend the knees, lay down on your back. Okay, we're going for our big final move here. I'm gonna move the pillow out of the way, and I'm actually gonna switch my body so you can see my leg uh, a little bit better, okay? And hopefully my ribs. <clears throat> Arms are gonna come overhead. If they're not comfortable here, you can always bring them down towards the ground. That's totally fine. So arms go overhead, but the ribs stay down. That's the trick. I'm gonna put a soft bend in my elbows. I'm gonna extend my left leg out in front and I'm gonna make sure it's nice and heavy into the ground. And now I'm gonna level my pelvis as I bring my right leg up towards the ceiling. There's a lot going on, just take your time. So from here, I'm gonna pull my ribs down towards the mat, which activates my abdominals and my obliques. I'm gonna level my pelvis, which activates my low belly, and I'm gonna send my leg over to the right as I get heavy on the left side. Now this leg continues to move right as I move, as I get heavy on the left side, and then I swoosh my leg down as if it's the face of a clock to six o'clock. Pausing at six o'clock, as my leg comes towards nine o'clock, I lift my right bum cheek as my right leg goes towards nine, so I can lift on this side, okay? Pause, and then I'm gonna bring that leg back to 12 o'clock, okay? And then the pelvis is level and back on the ground. So I send my right leg to the right, but I'm heavy in the left side, heavy in the left leg, really pushing down on the left side of the pelvis, as well as my left rib cage, okay? And then I send the leg down to six o'clock. 
As I come to nine o'clock, my bum lifts up on the right side, but my right ribs stay heavy and down on the mat. And I circle the leg all the way to 12 o'clock. Pelvis doesn't tilt. Little curve still in the low back. One more time, all the way to the right, as far as you can go to keep the left leg heavy and the left bum cheek down on the mat. Left ribs are heavy as my leg circles to six o'clock. Then my leg comes to nine o'clock. My bum cheek lifts up a little bit, but my right ribs don't. So pause, put the right ribs back down on the mat. Now bring the leg back up to 12 o'clock, level the pelvis on the mat. Huh, okay, <laughs> left leg up. Right leg strong, level the pelvis, little curve in the low back. Now get the ribs down on the mat. So engage the abdominals and pull the ribs down. Arms can stay up, shoulders away from the ears. Make sure you're filled out between your breast, uh, between your shoulder blades. Okay, so your breastbone is down. We're gonna send the leg to the left and get heavy in the right sit bone, right rib cage. You only go as far left as you can maintain a neutral spine. Then the leg comes down to six o'clock, sw swings over to three o'clock, lifting the left bum cheek, but my left ribs stay down. I swing the leg back and around to 12 o'clock, level the pelvis, make sure there's a little curve in the low back. Strong right leg, strong right sit bone, right ribs down towards six o'clock, around three o'clock. Ooh, my left ribs are popping, so get the left ribs down on the mat, making sure the pelvis doesn't tilt. Don't lose that little curve. Breathe in, send the leg down to six o'clock. Around, this side is not as good as the opposite. And then I'm gonna land the leg, bend the knee, let it go. Good job, guys. I'm gonna windshield wiper those legs. That is called advanced leg circles. There's a lot going on. But they're fun. <laughs> they're, they're a good time. You gotta think about that pelvis and those ribs and the arms and the leg and it's all connected. Okay, arms can come up towards each other, hands together, shoulders away from the ears, breathe in. Eyes follow the hands over to the right and then back to center. Breathe in, eyes follow the hands over to the left then back to center. So we're not moving through our hips, we're just moving through our ribs. One more time. Arms come down. I'm going to swing around onto my knees. I'm going to bring my right arm up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Soft side bend. Shoulders away from the ears. Try to think about lifting the rib cage up towards the ceiling. And then back. Okay, arm comes up. Breathe in, and then down. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you guys felt your abdominals and some glutes, and I will see you next week. Bye.